we have already looked at the market for lemons that was one of the model for adverse selection the only thing was that we had the fixed quality of the cars that is we had uh, the good quality car and the bad quality car and the producers they were not choosing the good quality or the bad quality to produce so they had good quality car they will be selling good quality they had bad quality car they would be selling bad quality but now supposedly we tweak the assumption a little bit and we say that now the producers they can choose the quality of the car right so here what variant has taken up an example is of the producers of an umbrella so there are two kinds of umbrellas good quality umbrella and bad quality umbrella and producers they can choose to produce a good quality or a bad quality umbrella right so naturally when i say you chose to produce something we will be seeing that what on what factors this choice is going to be dependent upon right so please write now suppose the quality of the cars uh, quality of of umbrellas be determined by producers. Can be determined by producers. So there is a high quality umbrella and there is a low quality umbrella. there is a high quality umbrella and there is a low quality umbrella so willingness to pay for a high quality umbrella is let's say 14 dollars and willingness to pay for a low quality umbrella is let's say 8 dollars so these are assumptions or different assumptions which you are making And then uh, uh, each consumer is buying only one unit. So either he buys a low quality or a bad quality umbrella. And the, the moment consumer is buying the umbrella, he cannot tell the difference between the low quality or the bad quality umbrella. So, on the face of it, all umbrellas, they look alike. So it is only when he's going to take up the umbrella in the rain and then uh, if it is a bad quality umbrella and it is not able to protect him uh, from the rain, then he or she will realize that uh, they have taken up a bad quality umbrella. So it is impossible to tell the quality difference at the time when they are making the purchase. That's also an assumption. Uh, it is impossible. to tell the quality difference <clears throat> at the time of purchase. At the time of purchase, right? There are few producers who are, who are trying to produce high quality and there are few producers who are trying to produce the low quality apparatus, right? Then there is one very heroic assumption which Varian is making that both qualities of umbrellas, they are costing $11.5 to produce. Both quality umbrellas, they are costing $11.5 now, the point is that, uh, I mean, right now it seems uh, very counterintuitive that if both qualities are, are costing you $11.5, then why on earth you will be producing a low quality? You produce high quality only. 
but we will see to it because we will relax this assumption later on. We will relax this assumption later on that later on what we will be saying is that uh, the low quality umbrella could be produced at a little lower cost. We'll be relaxing this assumption, but right now the assumption is this. And then there is an another assumption which says that industry is perfectly competitive. Industry is perfectly competitive. So consumers on the face of it, they cannot tell any difference between the low quality and the bad quality umbrellas. So they are only going to be paying the average price of the average price for the umbrella, right? Because they don't, they say that we don't know we are going to end up with a high quality or a bad quality umbrella. So we'll be paying you the average price. You with me? Uh, so consumers are judge are going to judge the quality of the umbrella by the average quality of the umbrellas which are present in the market, right? So the producers, let's say, Q proportion of the producers, Q proportion of producers are producing high quality umbrellas and uh, then it means one minus q proportion are producing low quality umbrellas right this is the proportion of producers should be rather mm -hmm. Sweet. Tuck, tuck. Mm -hmm. hmm. So there are Q proportion of producers who are producing high quality and one minus Q proportion of producers who are producing low quality umbrellas and your uh, consumers are going to judge the quality of the consumers by the average quality of the uh, umbrellas which are present in the market. So the consumer, and this is the very important thing. So the consumers, are willing to pay T is equal to average quality of the consumers. So for high quality, how much they are willing to pay? 40. What is the proportion of producers produ producing high quality Q? For low quality, how much they are willing to pay? A. <clears throat> and what is the proportion of the low quality producers? One minus Q. Right. So that's an idea. This guy is an idea here. So there are three cases out here. Hmm. We'll talk about three cases. So in one of the case, let's say only low quality manu manufacturers produce. Only L type producers produce. Hmm. So, if only L type producers are producing, then uh, uh, consumers would also know that uh, for the L type, they are only going to be willing to pay $8. While uh, it is costing how much to the producers to, pro to produce? The low quality 11.5. Now, since the price which the consumers are willing to pay is less than the cost which the uh, which the producer is going to make in order to produce one unit of the umbrella, one unit of the low cost umbrella, low type uh, umbrella, 
why will there be any production? None is going to be sold. Since the price which consumer is willing to pay is less than the cost. incurred by producer. So, beta, how much is the price which the low quality umbrella, uh, low L type producer is willing to pay? Eight dollars. So, how much is the price the consumer is willing to pay for the L type? Eight dollars. How much it is costing for the L-type producers to produce the L-type? 11.5. Why will you produce anything? None would be sold. None would be sold. In the next case, only H type producers produce. Only H type producers they are producing. So when you when only H type producers are producing, then uh, okay, consumers are willing to pay at max fourteen dollars for the high quality umbrella. It is costing producers eleven point five to produce, but there is one more assumption: perfect competition. When you have perfect competition, what 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 is going to happen? In case of perfect competition, the competition among the producers is going to drive the price down. The moment the price is driven down, so what is going to happen? Price is going to be driven down to the marginal cost. What is the marginal cost? 11.5. So they're not going to make any profits in this case. So again, uh, for consumers, it is a good thing because consumers are going to get some consumer surplus. They were willing to pay 14. How much they have to eventually pay? 11.5. So they are getting the consumer surplus. But there are no profits for uh, for the consumers uh, for the producers. So producers would compete. among themselves so price is going to be driven down to mc which is 11.5 so the price which ultimately consumer has to pay is 11.5 but price which consumer was willing to pay was 14 uh, so, consumer is getting some consumer surplus. Uh, but consumers were willing to pay $14. So, there is a consumer surplus, right? Consumer surplus because they were willing to pay. 14 uh, while uh, they are getting this much. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is a consumer surplus of $2.5. Fair enough. Then the another case could be both qualities are produced.
both qualities are reduced. All right. So <clears throat> the, there is perfect competition in the market. So because there is perfect competition in the market, the price is going to be lowered down to the marginal cost, right? The price which the consumer is willing to pay for the umbrella is the average price, right? Now, since both qualities are being produced, since both qualities are being produced, then we have to see the average price which the consumer was willing to pay. Fair. So, producers are going to produce till the average price is more than the, uh, the price which they are going to charge. Uh, their willingness to pay is more than the price which they are going to ultimately charge. Are you with me? So I just write this. So competition ensures that The price will be eleven point five dollars, right? The price is going to be eleven point five dollars. Now, when both qualities are being produced, when both qualities are being produced, then what is the willingness to pay for the consumer? Fourteen Q plus eight into one minus. You note that in case one and case two, only one type of quality was being produced. Now, both qualities are being produced. Then this was the willingness to pay, and this is the price which the cons which the producer will be ultimately charging. And this price is nothing but equal to the marginal cost. But why it is equal to marginal cost? Because the perfect competition is going to drive down the prices to the cost. Right. So the lowest value of Q, which is going to satisfy the above com above condition, sorry, is going to be equal to seven by two. What is Q? Q is the proportion of workers or the, or the number of producers uh, uh, which uh, are going to produce the high quality. So if out of 12 consumers, sorry, if out of 12 producers, seven are the high quality producers, right? Seven are the high quality producers, the consumer would be just willing to pay $11.5. That's an idea. Are you with me? So if right if out of 12 producers seven are high quality consumers so if seven by 12 of the suppliers are of high quality The consumers are just willing to pay eleven point five dollars for an umbrella. Right. So I'm going to stop out here and I'll take the discussion further from here and I'll conclude this in the next recording. Right. So uh, what we have done is we have tried to see if both kind of qualities are being produced and the producers, they can choose the quality, then how it is going to affect. Right. So I've still not concluded it. And uh, in the first two cases, we have seen only one type of quality is being produced and then both qualities are being produced. Right. So I'll conclude this in the next recording. Thank you, Vita.